in this session we will be discussing about intelligent transportation system one of the application of gps how gps is useful in transportation system gps for vehicle navigation when traveling through unfamiliar areas vehicle drivers often use paper road maps for route guidance so earlier before gps people used to use paper road maps for road route guidance however besides being inefficient searching for a destination using a paper map is unsafe especially in busy areas so if you are using a paper road map especially in the busy areas it will be difficult for searching for a destination and it is also unsafe and it is also inefficient so to overcome this drawbacks we are using the technology called gps so a new technology incorporating gps with digital road maps and a computer system has been developed so that route guidance can be obtained electronically with the touch of a button nowadays in our vehicles we are having we are having the gps mapping if you want to go to any unknown place we are using that google maps so here that technology is incorporated with the gps with a digital road map here we are using the digital road maps and a computer system has been developed to route the guidance for guiding the route can be obtained electronically with the touch of a button so we are using gps with digital road maps and a computer based system and the route guidance can be obtained electronically so by using this digital road map we can overcome the drawbacks of the paper road map so what's the role of gps in this vehicle navigation is it will continuously determine the vehicle's location based on that vehicle location it will guide to the destination next in the obstructed areas such as urban canyons and tunnels gps is supplemented by a terrestrial system such as the inertial navigation system to overcome the gps signal blockage as we all know that we have gps signal blockage mainly when it is passing through any tunnels so in that case we are using the inertial navigation system well, we already know about the inertial navigation system which we have discussed in the earlier unit so when we are having signal blockages we will go for the inertial navigation system so ins is a system that uses the vehicle's odometer and a selection from accelerometer compasses and gyros to determine the vehicle's direction and travel distance so here ins uses the vehicle's odometer odometer is which is used to determine the speed of a vehicle and we also use accelerometer compass and gyros to determine the vehicle direction and travel distance excuse me so in case of the gps signal blockages we are going for the ins in the ins we will be using accelerometer gyros and compass so which will determine the vehicle direction traveled distance we have already discussed about the ins in the fourth unit so this system is accurate only over a short period of time so using ins is accurate only only for a short duration of time next gps determined vehicle location is superimposed on an electronic digital road map containing in its database digital information such as street names directions business listings airports attractions and other related information so here gps in vehicle navigation is used for continuously determining the vehicle location so this gps after determining the vehicle location it is superimposed on an electronic digital route map so this contains the information regarding street name directions business listings airports attractions and other related informations next once the driver inputs a destination the built in computer finds the best route to reach the destination suppose if i want to find out the route for an unknown destination simply i'll enter the 
entered my place where to go and then quickly computer will select the best route to reach the destination. So factor six has shortest distance and time to destination, one way roads, illegal turns and rush cover restrictions are all considered in the path finding. So here in, we'll be finding the shortest distance. Along with the shortest distance, we'll also find out the time distance or time to destination. How much time is required to reach that destination? And we'll be seeing in that throughout that route if there are any one-way roads or illegal turns or any rush hours. It will also show our heavy traffic areas are all considered in the path finding. So when we are finding any path, it will also determine illegal turns, one-way roads, time to reach the destination, shortest route, heavy traffic areas, all this can be found out. Some systems allow the drivers to input other factors such as accident avoidance. So we are also having some advanced features like which will allow the drivers to input other factors regarding accident avoidance. Next. The driver usually gets turn-by-turn -turn instructions with audio or video, uh, visual in the indications to the destination. The driver will be getting the route, in, uh, route instructions with the help of the audio or visual indications to reach the destination. So here it will be announcing through the audio or it will be showing through the visual indications. So the route map will be shown to, the, to reach the de uh, destination to the driver. So if the driver misses a turn, the system displays a warning message and finds an alternative best route based on the current locations of the vehicle. Suppose if a driver has not taken the U-turn at a particular point and he is traveling this way, then GPS map will take an alert and it will display the next alternative best route based on the current location of the vehicle. Next, some manufacturers add cellular systems to provide weather and traffic information and to locate the vehicles in case of emergency. So in addition to this GPS, we are also adding cellular system so that it will provide the weather and traffic information and we can also track the vehicles in the emergency. The recent advances in wireless communication technology even make it possible for drivers to remotely access the internet from their vehicles. So in the current, um, in the recent advances, we are wireless communication technology had made the drivers to access the internet even in the remote areas. So this is how GPS is useful for vehicle navigation. This is clearly what we are using in our Google Maps right now when we are going to any, any unknown place. Suppose if I have uh, chosen the wrong route, then it will select the best route with respect to that current location. And it will also indicate the directions of the map with the help of the audio or by using the visual display. Suppose if the GPS having signal blockage, we use the INS with the help of the gyrometers, accelerometers, etc. That is how GPS is useful for vehicle navigation. Next, GPS tape, also called as waypoint navigation. So this waypoint navigation or stakeout is called by the surveyors. So this is called by the surveyors. Provides guidance to a GPS user in reaching his or her destination in the best way, short time and or distance. So waypoint navigation or stakeout is called by the survey. Surveys will be calling GPS navigation as the waypoint or stakeout. So this will provide guidance to a GPS user in reaching his or her destination in the best way. That is by shortest time or by shortest distance. By feeding the GPS receiver or the GPS receiver control with the coordinates of his or her destination, a GPS user receives an on-screen guidance instantaneously. Suppose if you want to go to an any destination where we don't know the route, if we enter that route, a GPS receiver will uh, user receives an on-screen guidance instantaneously guiding the route. 
surveyors use this principle to lay out points and lines so surveyors use this navigation for lay out points and lines the idea behind gps waypoint navigation is simple firstly the user must feed the gps receiver with the coordinates of his or her destination for the gps receiver user must indicate his or her destination coordinates most gps receivers are capable of storing a number of destination points in their internal memory so most gps receivers can store the number of waypoints in their internal memory second step is to let the gps receiver compute its own position that is the user position so the gps will compute the user position based on the receiver position and the destination position the built in receiver computer calculates the distance and the azimuth of the line connecting the receiver's position and the destination point so the user's address will be stored in the gps memory and the gps will also calculate that user positions and the difference between the two positions is calculated and the azimuth of the line connecting the receiver's position and destination points can be calculated that is the difference between the users and the positions can be calculated next the built in computer uses the position information to calculate other parameters such as expected arrival time to user's destination based on the user speed so this with this built in coordinates it is useful for determining the time of arrival based on the user's speed based on the user speed we can determine the arrival time in addition the offset distance from the receiver position to the original line between the starting point and the destination can be calculated we can also calculate the distance between the starting point and the destination point can also be calculated all of this information and other data are displayed on a continuous basis to guide the gps user so all this data the data is displayed on a continuous basis to guide the gps user this guidance information can be displayed in different ways one of these displays is the bulls eye where the destination is point is located at the center of the displayed concentric circles while the user's location is displayed as a moving cursor as we all see here how we are displaying the destination point we are displaying it with the help of a bull's eye and user location is displayed with a moving cursor next on the top point of the bull's eye is normally selected to represent the north so the bull's eye that is the destination point is used to represent the north so the user will reach his or her destination point when moving cursor stays at the center of the concentric circles so when the moving cursor stays at the center then the user will reach his or her destination point in addition to this a number of navigation parameters are displayed to help the user as well so a number of navigation parameters are also displayed which will help the users so this is how gps is used for state point and vehicle navigation this is the easiest application of gps which we are seeing in our day to day life thank you